All right, we're just now leaving the Burger Brothers in Towson. Sherry Elliker, you're up first. Ladies first. What was your burger? I got a plain hamburger with just ketchup and mustard. And? I'm going to give it half a bun, only because the bun was really good. Okay. I can't decide which is grubbier in that place. The place itself or the clientele. I found it to be kind of a greasy spoon. The people were kind of weird. They didn't wear gloves. The bathroom was clean. The hamburger, the meat itself, tasted sort of weird to me. And if I squirted mustard all over myself one more time, I was going to scream. I had to use five napkins because it was, it was over <laughs> mustard. Other than that, it was great. So half a bun is your half total score. Half a bun score. is what I give. Justin Ford. <laughs> Food-wise, I'm going to go ahead and give it four buns. It was really good. The meat was What'd you obviously... have? Hold on. Stop. Back up and tell us what you had. I had a bacon cheeseburger with Thousand Island dressing. I'm going to give it four buns. It was very good. Obviously a fresh burger, just like Sherry's, though. There was way too much Thousand Island on it. Fries are the best I've had, and I worked at Boardwalk Fries in high school. But I would only suggest this place is a carryout place, and if you can make it happen, have somebody else come and get it for you because it's not a good atmosphere. <laughs> Pat O'Neill. All right, I got a cheeseburger plain. Um, I probably would give it two buns out of five. The problem was that the meat was tastier than the one we had last week, but my problem with it was it, it was only six ounces. They stretched it out, so it was really thin. <coughs> I kind of felt like Sherry had tasted a little weird. I felt like there was more bun to actual burger, the ratio. I really liked the fries. I thought the fries were really good. But overall, I wasn't super impressed by the burger. I, I might not come back here. All right, here we go. I had a turkey burger with bacon. I kind of built my own thing. I did a turkey burger with bacon, Swiss cheese, and honey mustard on it. They put way too much condiment on, which Sherry already mentioned, a ton of ketchup and mustard on hers. Mine was covered in honey mustard. The burger itself, the turkey burger, it was fresh, it hadn't been frozen, I could tell that, the bacon was pretty good, So, and the bun was fantastic, as she mentioned. I'm going to give the food a four, because I really did enjoy what I had, just a little, a little too aggressive on the old condiments. French fries were really good, I don't think, I, I had to remind myself when I hit metal on the tray to stop eating, because I was still looking for more fries. Um, but, as I mentioned, it's, it's they, could, they could wipe the place down a little bit more. I don't mind a good greasy spoon now and again, but a little too much grease. So my overall score food-wise is going to be a four. I'm going to give it one bun for cleanliness and only a two for the staff and the service because I didn't run into that many people and the guy spoke to me, eh, we're going to get you. And it, was, it was real quick. So that's that's where we are with the Baltimore Burger blog for today. Any additional comments? Yeah. The one guy, um, <laughs> but this is important. <laughs> they, would, they would take turns emptying the trash and then go back behind the grill. I don't know if they washed up or not. No gloves. No gloves. Can I throw one more thing in? Justin, and you'll appreciate this, they did have cherry coke. And I have a massive thing of cherry coke to take back to. Hey, yeah, yeah. Last place in the world you can get birch beer. They have birch beer, so I'm going to give them props for that. So, food, good. Let's work on a few of the other things. BaltimoreBurgerBlog.com.